What's up everyone, I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Welcome back to another video. Today I have something pretty special here. I have the Brenton, the original single barrel bourbon whiskey. Now, this was established in 1984 under the guidance of Elmer T. Lee. And this is made by Buffalo Trace. Now I've put a link to Elmer T. Lee, I've put a link to Buffalo Trace so that you can go and check it out and understand who he is, what the history around this is, and there is a lot of history around this. First of all, let's talk about the horse and the jockey. So people collect these, I mean, you can go online and find them between 10 to 20 bucks, and why are they collecting them? Well, there's a letter here at the back on the horse's foot, and this one is S, and when we line all of the stoppers together, it spells B-L-A-N-T-O-N-S, alphabetically, saying Blanton's. So let's talk a little bit about this. First of all, this is historic because this is Warehouse H. Now, Warehouse H is very special because this building was built right after Prohibition, meaning it's made out of steel. So it heats faster, it cools faster, and the whiskey just ages faster because as it gets hotter, the whiskey just seeps into the barrel, and as it gets cooler, it just comes out. Now, this is a minimum of six to eight years. I wasn't able to find the mash bill on this, but I'm guessing that this barrel is new American oak, charred number four at 125 proof, since that's pretty much Buffalo Trace's style here. Um, so let's take a closer look at the overall packaging, starting with the 93 proof. Now the Blanton's original comes into this beautiful box. Once we remove the box, we get this bottle that's perfectly wrapped in a velvet pouch with Blanton stitched on it. Once we remove the pouch, we get the classic bottle of Blanton's. This bourbon whiskey was dumped on 22221 from barrel 97, stored in warehouse H. On rig number 49, individually selected, filtered, and bottled by hand, this is 93 proof or 46 and a half ABV. Now let's move on two. The goal has the same actual packaging and I wasn't able to get a bottle of that one, but this is 103 proof and the first release of this one was in 2020. Before that, we only had the 93 proof. And then let's move on to the big bad boy, the crazy single cast that I was able to get. Now we get the same bottle, we get this beautiful leather pouch, which has Blanton stitched on it. Once again, once that's removed, we can see that everything has been perfectly handwritten, bottle per bottle, and this bottle is number 98. Now, when we look at the packaging of this, this is just classic. I mean, this is just so beautiful. There's so much work put in here. I really love the packaging on this. But let's talk about a little bit of what's in the bottle. And yes, I did get a bottle of the 93 proof. I wasn't able to get a bottle of the gold, but I was able to get a bottle of the single cast. But I am not going to open neither of those. I did get a sample of the 93 proof, so let's take it to tasting notes at that. But before that, do you want to taste like a pro? Head over to tastingskills.com, put your name and email into the magical yellow box, and I will send you my free 17 page guide to the fundamentals of tasting. All right, now let's taste this bad boy. On the color, we get the deep amber color with some deep gold. On the nose, you get this really sweet layers of wood that are mixed into this smoke that moves into chocolate notes and dried fruit that are expensive, meaning they just fill the room. This nose just explodes out of the glass. It's refined, it's lovely, it's just really sweet. On the mouthfeel, we get this delicate layer of wood that are sweet into this lovely vanilla that turns the acidity into some beautiful wood notes and tannins. Now, I'm really, really impressed by this. This is so freaking good. I mean, oh my God, for $80, yes, I did have to do you know, the line for this, but what do you expect? I mean, this is Blanton. This is the original single barrel pick. I mean, there's so much history around this. This is so, so good. So what do I think about this? Well, this is two parts here. First of all, you need to find this. This is just a classic. You need to find this, and if you can get more than one bottle, then I would try to get one more, one more than one bottle, but you need to remember that this is gonna be worth its weight in coal, especially the cash strength that I got. This is only the second release, because remember, the first release was in 2020. Now, there's other Blanton's out there. There is also the green label that we call, which is exclusive to international market, and that one is called the um, Reserve, and is 80 proof. And then there's also the very rare 
Polish release, which is the blue label if you can find it, and that's like 1500 bucks. I mean, that's just craziness. Now, the second part about this, and my only problem with this, and this is a bigger consumer issue, I think, with when it comes to Buffalo Trace. I mean, you went through all the trouble of giving us the warehouse, when it was dumped the barrel and so on. Just tell us if it's a six, a seven, or eight. It's not six to eight. Just tell us the mash bill. I mean, you're doing a disservice to all of us. At the same time, you need to tell us how many cases are made. Otherwise, you're just opening this to fraudulent bottles out there. And I mean, that's just disappointing to me. I mean, you're a huge distillery. Nobody is going to invent another blanted in your own style. I mean, this is Warehouse H. This is a historic kind of a deal here. Anyway, should you get this? Absolutely, you should seek these out as much as you can. They are just so amazing. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Please remember to smash that like button and then go down there and click the bell if you've subscribed. Otherwise, my friend, please remember, stay sober.